Hey guys, it's Aki here. In today's video, we'll be testing the aerodynamic of this Cybertruck as well as the tiny 4x4 off-road vehicle that's sitting on this trunk right now. Uh, we'll be putting it in our 3D printed wind tunnel testing chamber. Normally, I just kind of create short contents around these type of uh, contents, but today I decide to try a slightly different format um, maybe that can provide you with a different perspective on how I make these videos. Maybe that can inspire you. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and unbox the Cybertruck first. I got these models from Tamu. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the car models I received. It looks like it's secure to the base with the twist to unlock. There you go. This one came off already. So we have the, the cyber truck itself, as well as a mountable base, if you want to display it on a shelf. Um, not the highest quality, it feels very plasticky. So it is what it is. So the truck actually feels a little bit heavy. There's a spring mechanism that propels it forward. Somewhat satisfying. The doors open, all four, and you can see some of the interiors. Uh, somewhat accurate. And comment down below if you know what this uh, little vehicle is called. Somehow I just forgot it as soon as I start making this video. So I'm glad that the uh, the tailgate opens because uh, some of you ask uh, what the aerodynamic profile is with the tailgate folded down. Oh, in the front hood also folds up for a um, little bit of storage, not much. All right, a couple of things we gotta do before we start experiment that I usually don't show on my shorts. So first of all, we need to fill the water mist generator uh, with some water and then we're gonna plug it in just like that because this device doesn't really have a switch and as you can see right now it starts making water mist check this out we're getting that buttery smooth silky water vapor which is good for our testing and then I will place it in the front intake of our wind tunnel. And today we'll be using our original prototype because it has a larger chamber. So take off the cover. Let's test our cyber truck first. And then I'm gonna close the lid back up. Make sure it pushes all the way down so we get a tight seal. Um, it's still a little dark. And that's when my LED light bar comes in and I just put it on the top. And now our cyber truck is nicely lit up. We have our control knob for our fan that's sitting in the back here. All we need to do is turn it on. Take the lights off. I'm gonna take the cover. As you can see, filming this is not the quickest thing. We're gonna put the tiny off-road vehicle. I'm hoping the uh, shape of it is going to act like a wing for the car. Maybe it will help a little bit, but we'll see. Put our lights back on. So yeah, that's it guys, Cyber Truck versus our mini wind tunnel. Uh, 
like and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely not the easiest thing for me to make and upload these uh, contents daily, but I do enjoy making these type of contents and I hope you enjoy the uh, behind the scenes stuff as much as I do. Let me know what's your opinion on the cyber truck itself and I would love to hear about it. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.